lessons learned from reading Million Dollar Journey. What's happening? It's Eric J. Olson. I am super close to getting my book out. My first book called Million Dollar Journey, all about my journey to building a $1 million plus business. It took eight years to crack the $1 million per year in revenue mark. It was hard. There were a lot of lessons learned and I made a lot of mistakes and I wanted to share them all in this book, which is exactly what I did. After I wrote it and after I edited it, at the very tail end, I decided that I would actually read the audiobook. And so I would record and then the audiobook would be my voice, me reading out loud. Lots of lessons learned in reading out loud your own book. I'm really glad that I did it because if I would have hired someone else to do it, I don't think that these lessons would have really sunk in. Lesson number one. I found a lot of mistakes that I didn't anticipate would be there because I read it. And when I read it, sometimes it just didn't make sense. Now I'm not talking about like, you know, necessarily like this whole paragraphs in the wrong place. I'm not even talking about typos. What I'm talking about is just the way the sentence flow, it just could be better. Right? So sometimes when you look at a sentence on a screen or on a piece of paper, you're like, that That doesn't make sense. I mean, I knew what I was trying to say in that sentence, but there was a better way to express it. And so when I came across passages like that, I would just, in uh, Google Docs suggestion mode, I would make an edit. And that way I could send it back to my editor and say, hey, I, I think there's a better way to say this. And then she would either confirm or tell me I was an idiot. But I would go ahead and I would read it with the edited version, the way that I edited it, because I thought that was better. Now, even if in the end that doesn't make it into the book, which most of them will, but if it doesn't make it in, that, that's okay. Um, I don't think the book and the audio book have to be 100% the same. I'm okay with them not being 100% the same. But what I do say, I want to make sense. So that was one big lesson learned with the audio book. And I, like I said, if, if I would have hired somebody to do this for me, to, to read for me, then I don't think that I would have got that level of feedback. Uh, number two, lesson learned. Reading out loud sucks. Like, <laughs> I mean, there is just no other way of saying it. As adults, we almost never read out loud. I mean, when was the last time that you read out loud if it wasn't to your kid? Your kid doesn't care about how you can read out loud or not. And you may have to read like a sentence on a slide when someone calls on you to read that sentence to make sure you're paying attention in a meeting. But that's about it. Like there are very few instances where adults read out loud. I had to read like 72,000 words out loud. And not only that, I had to make sure that I said it in a way where I enunciated like hopefully every single word, which I don't always do. And so there were a lot of times where I had to retake what I was saying because I realized I just kind of slurred a word or I kind of like sped over a passage and I needed to redo it. I don't do that for this podcast because that's just not the kind of podcast that we have. We're not looking for a finished product here. We're looking for just good nuggets. And so it doesn't have to be a perfect edit and a perfect rendering every time. But for the audiobook, it, it had to be a lot closer to perfect. Now it's not perfect. I'll tell you that right now. Like I guarantee there are, you know, just mistakes that I made in reading the book because it's freaking hard. Like we just were not used to reading out loud. It's very foreign. Like there's other lessons learned, but what, well, I, I'll give you one more just in, you know, in case you're thinking about writing a book one day, read out loud the book and record it before you say that editing is done. I thought editing was all done. And so I took it to the next step, sent it off to the graphic artist. And then at the same time, I read it out loud and I realized there was a bunch more that needed to be edited. I'm going to move that back in the process next time I write a book. And there will be a second book for sure. Kevin and I are already talking about what we want to do together as a joint effort. Uh, so that, that'll be coming out in about a year or two. But uh, we will definitely read the book before we conclude the editing is done and then we'll go on to the next step. I'm going to have to like, I'm going back in the process here uh, because I read 
after I went to a, a next final step with the graphic artist. So lots of lessons learned with reading the book myself. I wish I would have done that earlier in the process, but I'm also super glad that I did it myself because I don't think I would have got the same result otherwise. How much more successful would you be if you could harness the experience of a group of successful business owners? If you could learn from their successes and avoid mistakes they've made in the past. Array Mentors provides the framework and the guidance to help you find your way, get you on the right path, and accelerate your journey to more money and more success. Check out the details at ArrayMentors.com.